Okay, I know what you guys are thinking, and trust me, I have been debating making this video for the past couple days as I'm just gonna say it right now, the amount of hate comments that I've been getting regarding, you know, getting 30 series cards for mining, and I understand. I get it, I get it. But guys, don't hate me. I've never done anything bad to anybody. <laughs> I've had these cards on order for about three months now, and finally the distributor that I ordered from locally was finally able to fulfill my order, okay? So just telling you guys right now, I ordered this a long time ago, and I finally was able to get these cards. So hopefully nobody comes at me about anything, all right? I know that, I know it's extremely hard to get cards, and if you weren't able to back order or you know place an order three months ago, back in October, November, then your best luck right now in order to get cards is to obviously go to like New Egg Shuffle or see if you can get the Best Buy drops or anything online. So in this video, you guys are probably wondering, you know, Red Panda, are you going to be building this RTX 3080 rig? And yes, I am gonna build it, but not in this video. Uh, just to let you guys know, I will have a live stream building all of this in one day. Hopefully I can do it in one day, I should be able to. And in this video, I'm mainly just gonna explain all the parts that I got. And uh, I would like to get some opinions down below if you guys think any of the parts that I have here are not gonna be good enough for this rig, okay? And I also wanna talk about how much I paid for everything, and you guys can just see the total right now is about $7,400 USD, okay, for all of this parts, all right? So I'll explain the price list later. But let's begin first. The RTX 3080s that I have here are the EVGA for the Win 3 editions. So I think these should be pretty good for mining. Uh, everyone says the 40 Win 3 editions are pretty good, but I actually do have one for the Win 3 that's giving me issues. I can only get up to about 95 mega hash, and the memory, I can only go up to like 1500 or something crazy. I'll, I'll show a screenshot of Hive OS here, but I'm having issues with that 3080 for the Win 3. So I'm hoping for the six that I have here are not gonna have any issues, but Hey, knock on wood, hopefully they will be good. Obviously the live stream we will test all the hash rates. And I forgot to mention that live stream I hope to do on this weekend, all right? I'm gonna do a live stream this weekend. So I'll have a link down below uh, of the stream. I'll have it set up and um, I'm making this video the night before. So it's, it's gonna be pretty recent. You guys are gonna see this video uh, the next day on Friday. Today, I guess, if you're watching this video. So those are the GPUs. Oh, they also have three eight pins, okay, uh, to power them. And I will explain the power supply situation here uh, in a second. Okay, the next thing I have is the mining frame. And good old AAA Wave, they sent me this mining rig frame. It's the brand new, the Sluice V2, a 12 GPU frame. And you guys are probably wondering right now, Red Panda, why are you using a 12 GPU frame? Well, let me tell you, <laughs> the 3080s are extremely hot. Uh, on both sides of the GPU. So the back plate as well as uh, the front side are really hot. So it takes quite a bit to keep these cards cool. And uh, the memory temperatures are generally pretty hot across the board for a lot of these 3080s. I think the For the Win 3 editions are okay. But you know, for this rig, I just wanna see if the spacing will make a big difference or not. And I think down the road, I'm also gonna try a server case to see uh, if 3080s will be pretty good. Actually, I might try the Asus Tufts because I do have an issue with that. I do have a fan pointed towards those cards right now uh, because they're so close together. But I think in an enclosed server case, that might be a much better, but that'll be uh, a different video. Okay, so yeah, the 12 GPU, it's a brand new version and I'll have the link down below. You guys can go check it out. And I'm probably gonna build this before I do the live stream so I save a lot of time <laughs> so I can get everything else in and make sure the whole rig works, get the hash rates and whatnot. Okay, next part is the risers. Now, I have two options because uh, AAA Wave, they also sent me their riser as well. Okay, and I have GPU risers.com risers. You guys know them. And so I have both their versions here. This is the GPU risers.com version. Very nice riser. You guys have seen me use these before. 
And uh, yeah, I like this clip here instead of the, uh, the white clip, all right? So you can see here, uh, AAA Wave are using the old style clip here, all right? But I think this is the version 9S, yeah, version 9S for the AAA Wave. And I've never seen the red PCB version before, so this looks actually pretty cool. I'm gonna decide during the live stream, you guys can let me know uh, which riser should I use? Should I use the uh, AAA Wave? They, they sent me 12 of them. And, uh, or should I use the uh, GPRisers.com risers? Okay, so I'll, I'll do a vote during the live stream. Okay, going along now, the next parts I'm gonna be using, let's talk about the motherboard. Uh, it, pretty simple, I'm using the exact same setup that I did with the Asus Tough Rig. All right, so I'm using the Asus Prime Z490P motherboard coupled with a, a G6400 processor. Yeah, this is the 10th gen Pentium processor gold, so this has the hyper-threading, so essentially four cores, and I have uh, eight gigs of RAM here, uh, 266 megahertz RAM, and then I have a 120 gig SSD King Diane, all right? And mind you, I'll have all the links down below. Uh, you guys can see what parts I'm talking about in this video. Okay, so let's talk about the power supply situation, uh, the guts to run all this stuff here. So I have two of these Seasonic Prime Platinum 1300 watt power supplies. And uh, I already unboxed one, as you guys can see here. I'll just give you guys uh, the look around here. It's pretty nice, platinum rated, pretty good. But the main thing I wanna talk about is the connections. So there are gonna be six PCIe that I'm gonna be able to utilize, all right? So for each of these uh, power supplies, I have two of them, right? So I'm gonna be using three 3080s for each power supply here. And uh, one of the power supplies I will have to utilize uh, for the motherboard CPU SSD. And as well, I do have the 24-pin uh, power adapter uh, just to send the signal to the other power supply to turn on, okay? I'll link down below. This is from uh, Thermaltake. Okay, and then, yeah, so I'm gonna be using two strands for each 3080. Very similar way that I did for the RTX 3080, the Asus Tough Rig, okay? Very similar to what I did there. Okay, that's my, that's my thought process. But there could be one issue where, you know, these EVGA 3080s, they may use a lot more power, okay? Uh, there is a BIOS that unlocks them to about 450 watts. So if, you know, theoretically, I think each of these strands, and I did verify that these are 16 gauge, okay? So there are six PCIe cables. Uh, so my thought process is I'm gonna be utilizing two strands, two strands, uh, for each 3080. So you guys can do the math there. And each strand has a daisy chained eight pin, which is 16 gauge on these shrink wrap uh, cables. Really, really well done cables by Seasonic, by the way. Uh, so there's six there and uh, yeah. So that's how I'm gonna do the configuration. If you guys think that's wrong, please let me know down below, but that's what I've generally done for my other 3080 rig and the other uh, 3080 rig at the top here. So pretty good so far. And uh, 24 pin that goes into the motherboard and the eight pin CPU. And I was hoping that there would be another PCIe cable, but it only came with six, okay? And these top two are probably for the CPU. Okay, so that's the power configuration. I'm gonna be doing that, I guess, times two because I have two 1300 watt power supplies, but I'll show you guys that again uh, when I do the live stream. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, I do have fans as well, all right? I do have the fans coming. Uh, they're gonna be coming tomorrow. Hopefully they arrive before I do the live stream on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure which day yet. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really epic. Hopefully everything works. Okay, but let's talk now finally all of the prices here. The 63080 for the Win 3s, I placed an order about three months ago. Altogether about uh, $6,000 USD, including tax, all right? But in Canadian, it's it was like, I think 8,000 or something a lot more than that. But all these prices I have here are all USD. So I know most of my viewers are in USD. All right, so I have the two 1300 watt power supplies. That was about $700 USD. I got those on Amazon. Amazon and then I got the motherboard from Amazon 150 uh, the processor about 80 bucks RAM was about 50 bucks and then the SSD I actually already had this SSD King Diane but I think online they're generally really cheap about 25 bucks and then I have the mining frame the sluice AAA wave frame which is right now about $180 but AAA wave they sent me this frame but I'm still gonna factor in the prices here and then I got the risers and then I have the splitters and the 24 pin splitter here from Thermaltake I totally forgot to talk about the 
splitters, but I'm going to be using three splitters per uh, power supply. So each, uh, each GPU is going to get one splitter because uh, the 3080 has three three pins and I need another one for the riser. So total four together, four PCIe plugs. Okay, but I'll do that in the live stream. Okay, so total price is about $7,400 USD. So once I build this whole rig, I'm gonna see how much Ethereum, all right, I'm gonna mine to its own address, and we're gonna see how long it'll take to break even, all right, theoretically break even on all of this hardware. I think this is gonna be an awesome test, as I am doing another test on a 1660 rig, about $2,500 to $3,000. So I basically have multiple tests to see how long it'll take to theoretically break even on this hardware, all right? And I know some people are gonna say, Red Panda, why don't you do scalped prices right now? And honestly, I could, I could. I, I'm gonna add in those theoretical numbers in as well. So if, you know, people were to buy this, these GPUs now, obviously it's not, you know, $1,000 each. They're now like over 1,200, 1,500, maybe sometimes $2,000 each. So I'm gonna have some theoretical numbers here as well, 10K to 11K for this whole rig if someone was to make it right now. But because I placed an order for these cards locally at a local distributor three months ago, I can, I can factor that in all right msrp prices okay and finally the mega hash numbers that i'm thinking we should get is between 560 and 600 mega hash at between 1350 to 1500 watts all right so that's going to be dependent on the silicon lottery of these cards that the temperatures or what mega hash i can get all these cards and you know <laughs> the 3080s all the 3080s i've tried so far they get a lot of different hash rates so I don't think I'm going to achieve 600 mega hash out of this whole rig, but we will see during the live stream. Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. I will see you this weekend in the live stream. It's going to take me a while probably to build this whole thing, and uh, I'm going to build the frame beforehand so I don't waste any time. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to do this. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and if you think I should change out any parts, or if I did anything wrong according to the TDP for the power cables or anything, all right, should be good, 16 gauge wires, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. I'm really excited. And yeah, I guess I'm really nervous about all the comments that I'm gonna get. Where'd you get these cards? Guys, I've answered this question many times. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the live stream. Have a good one, and peace out.